Okay, so I'd like to um, talk a little bit about the um, the law of attraction and the Course in Miracles and how, how I view both of them. Um, and well, Hawkins actually did some really good uh, work on levels of consciousness, you know, and um, so there are different stages to spiritual development, you know, and as long as you're, uh, if you're making progress, you know, if you're at the level above, actually that's good. Uh, so you'd have like uh, axe murderers would be at the bo bottom level of consciousness. Uh, they have a low vibration. Uh, then you have, then you have higher teachings which go up to higher levels, which are also good. And then um, you have the teachings which are more in alignment with. Um, um, uh, with just pure love and service, which is more more like the levels of the saints, and then you have the levels of enlightenment. Levels of enlightenment are um, dissolving everything that stands in the way of one's ultimate true nature. You see, now um, for me, the course in miracles is actually removing. Uh, the intention around it is actually to remove 100% of the ego. So that only, um, like, like St. Francis said, um, you know, one is then a channel of the universe. Everything, everything, is, um, everything is just, one is just, if you like, um, uh, just a channel or a conduit of the universe, 100%. And that's all that one is. And one is now... Uh, has removed all the blocks to the experiencing of one's ultimate true nature, which is, um, uh, from my own experience, you know, in, in having those experiences, is just pure love, light, and power beyond imagining. You know, it's it's beyond all limits as well, and there is no. Um, so what what happened? That's called, um, you know, those levels I would call being one with everything. In the course, it's called oneness. You know, there is no longer a separate identity that needs to any longer communicate to the universe anything. Because one is one with the universe, you see. One is actually in a state beyond all limits, which is very important. As long as... Um, okay, yeah, another way I could frame what the Course of Miracles is, it's, it's releasing every sense of fear and separation that exists so that one can experience one's ultimate true nature. So as long as... What is the ego? Um, my interpretation of the ego as, uh, in, as relating to the Course. Well, it's anything that stops that experiencing of the true nature. You know, the limitless oneness, the love, the peace, which is the absolute true nature, which one, is one's essence. But... Um, is blocked because there's some aspect of ego. If there is some aspect of ego still there, then there will be something that feels like it's a separate identity giving instructions, you see, um, and also having a preference for things being one way or another, you see. And one will also start to be, you see, in the ultimate one is in actually the realm of the timeless and the limitless, you see. So, actually, as soon as you start to go into ego, a sense of time related to a separate identity starts to be created. So that is the, the, the birth of the separation. And the birth of something that is separate from the universe, which is not one with the universe, which then can be injured by things happening in the universe, can then have states where it's feeling in fear or anger, and then needing to do things to get back to a state of peace or love. So that would be called, that would be the sense of ego identity. And also it would be a thing that would need to pray even, you know, or even need to do actions, almost like imploring the universe that things are not right and that it needs to do prayers, course in miracles, or even needs to, if it's in a state of fear or a state of, for example, lack 
like I haven't got a partner or my job situation is not so good, it would then need to do some kind of activity to then do something so that it can feel greater love or expansion or safety or whatever. So there's nothing, you know, for me, there's nothing wrong with any, any spiritual path or non-spiritual path. It's all, it's all whatever it is. But for me, it's like the need, I mean, the course is just purely for me in its highest sense, even though the lessons are very different, is just removing everything to one's ultimate essence so that um, one's ultimate essence, which for me, uh, and I've had the experience of it, I think many people have dipped into that. It's limitless, it's timeless, it's, uh, it's, it's eternal love, it has no limits. And, um, and it's like everything, and then it makes sense that we're removing all limits, all things, and actually in that state one doesn't need to pray or need to have the universe be any different to the way it is. One has already, because that's coming from a slightly disconnected state. If you need to pray for someone, if you need to have uh, more self-esteem, or if you need to have more love, there's still something within the ego which is blocking that being accessed all the time. And so there seems to be a need to... Um, to do. So it's often said it's a place of no need and no want because there's perfect peace, perfect love, perfect presence, perfect oneness and connection in that state. And then everything is just, one says, you know, one would say that one is, it's not, the ego separate sense of self is no longer there. So it's like one is one with the universe and then what happens or is said is just an orchestration coming out of the universe, you see, but it's not coming from a place of lack or a need to do something, to change something, which would then mean that one is already in a state of disconnection, needing to do some activity or make some affirmation or feel a certain way. You, you, I mean, you cannot feel anything better than the ultimate state. You just wouldn't need to. You wouldn't have any fear. You wouldn't have any resentment. Uh, everything would be seen through... Um, the Course calls it vision, but you could say, you know, everything would be revealed with the divinity of its true essence being revealed to you. So there would be no need to, to do things. So that's what, what, that would be the thing. So in terms of, um, even to do, like in the Lesson 365, it says you can throw the book away. You don't need it. Because you, once you're in that state of infinite love and presence, and you're not in any distress or lack or need, then there is no, so that, that is, in terms of the course, that would be the state of no ego. Like, you know, there's limitless love, limitless connection, beyond even time, beyond even separation. So that's the thing, and then whenever the ego is there, it can be there on subtle levels or more gross levels. Um, whereas the course for me is much more a letting go of the ego. And there are some um, things like uh, law of attraction, now the thing with that, the law of attraction, I think it, it's great, and it's a certain level of vibration. But it's like, um, you see, if one is in a state, uh, a state of lack, and one, for example, needs to make an affirmation um, to, to feel love, as long as one needs to do that, you know, it's like one isn't at the vibration of constant love, you see. Or, but also the ego can tend to project that this sense of love and separation could be cured by, um, by having something. Like, oh, I'd feel even more fulfilled if, a boy if I had a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or I'd feel even more fulfilled if, um, if um, I had a pay rise or a different career. So these things then are, are coming from a, a position of lack, thinking that something external is going to, if the universe would give it. But really, what is one seeking when one wants to try and control the universe, or tell the universe from a place of separation what it needs? One, one isn't yet, one usually has projected certain qualities onto achieving that. Um, with, um, for me, like, in um, uh, Ramana Maharishi, one of the teachers, uh, mentioned this thing. It's like, 
if you if you want something, like let's say um, I want a girlfriend, for example, <coughs> or or I want more money in my bank, it doesn't really matter. But whenever you are in want something, you're you're in a you're you're in a vibration of lack, and you have projected that if you could get the external thing, you'd feel okay. You see, so um, that's already like saying that you need you're you're going to be in time. You're going to be trying to get something to come to you, and you're you're also saying that this thing is going to give you that which you will make you feel better usually, or or. or but once you're in, once you're in, um, once you're in the limitless realm, once you're in truth, there is no need to give any instructions. You see, because everything is spontaneous, intuitive, and is just happening now. So there wouldn't be this like wounded ego trying to do something. And also, usually in those levels, it's it's um, everything is an automatic expression of the universe. I don't know if that made sense. Did that make sense? It seemed to make sense. Okay. Fine. Yeah.